Hey guys, good morning. It is morning here in New York. Uh, I'm on my way to pick up the pipe vise that I'm gonna need uh, for a water source heat pump job that I'm doing, piping in the, the units. Um, and uh, this is my uh, chance to uh, show you what uh, what I've been working on the past three weeks. Uh, pretty much stuck in the dungeon, rectifying the <clears throat> Victaulic piping job that a so-called fitter did. Anyway, I'll show you guys. I'll uh, take you through the job and just show you what I've been working on. And uh, then we'll head to my uh, water source heat pump job and I'll show you guys uh, that job. So anyway, stay with me and uh, we'll go right through it. So this is the job. These are all new boilers here. We didn't do the boilers, but I just figured I'd show you guys around. Real pretty, really nicely done. This is what a nice job looks like. <laughs> Big uh, expansion tank there. And uh, see that copper line up there? It's the makeup line. Coming up here and it's just valved off. I gotta tie it to this line right here. Well, I'm gonna be back. I just wanted to show you guys. And uh, let's go inside here. But this is a beautiful job. They've done it beautiful. And this is the Victaulic job that I've been on past, uh, i say three weeks. A lot of the stuff uh, like that discharge line <laughs> was at a 45 degree angle if you notice here this line right here goes this way comes down and then this one right here look how much I had to add to straighten out that piece right there that's about 10 inches I had to add that's just insane so a lot of you know just a big punch list that I had to go through this is what I've been on you know, a lot of nonsense, like, uh, take a look at that valve. You see it's crooked. I gotta fix that as well. Just a lot of bullshit like this. Everything just wasn't leveled, a lot of leaks. And, uh, I mean, look at this welding job. I mean, look at that. That's horrible. This is the worst welding job I've ever seen in my life. But, uh, you know, I'm adding these uh, quarter-inch fittings to put in a gauge pressure gauge and whatnot and now uh, all the copper I ran like from here this is full of chemical treatment comes back there copper line I did there's another two here for the chemical treatment this is a good old train screw chiller that train takes care of this two inch line right here is a blow off line. I had to repipe it from here on, going back that way. This quarter, uh, three quarter inch line I also did. And uh, <laughs> this air separator was also at a 45 degree angle. I had to rectify that. Just a lot of nonsense. All these are new Mitsubishi VFDs, but wanted to show you guys well this is the like I said all the copper I ran and the other guy did all the Victaulic fittings but I've rectified a lot a lot of nonsense I had leaks all over the place crooked piping I mean there's still some piping that's still crooked like back there that line right there it's, I'm not gonna take it off now you know so still like if you take a look at this line I mean, it is a tight spot, I understand that, but like the weld, that's just horrible welding. Uh, I added these mechanical T's for uh, temperature and pressure. You know, I know it's a tight spot, but like for you to have the discharge line at a 45 degree angle is just horrible. But anyway, 
This is the guy I need here. I need this pipe vice. That's what I'm really here for. Well, that's about it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys this. I got my two bearings for this motor that I took out yesterday. That video that you guys are watching. If you did watch it. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. It's a 307 and a 206. So I'll have that on video for you guys. And uh, I'll do a little video on the on the water source heat pump piping job and uh, that's it I just needed this vice right here it makes your job a lot easier when you have a pipe vice ah, there goes that so that's it guys Stay tuned, man. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Temperature pressure, strain on pressure. Because I'm, I'm building that up, and that's gonna go across here. That tune over here, connections are in there. So if it's gonna come across. This will be my supply and my return. I'll come around this. Yeah, it's 
I'll put screws for you. No, you put oh. Seen that? How much is that? That is not bad at all. Okay, guys, here we got the reducing bushings. Push is going to be for temperature. I have this thermal wall there. I'm going to put it on and you just slide the temperature gauge in there. This is pressure. So I'm gonna get these prepped up and uh, we'll take it to the plastacitos. Just turn them around a little bit. Valve, solenoid, gauge, strainer, gauge, temperature. Gotta get the temperature right now. gauge. And there goes the return. Except it's facing that way. You're not gonna see it again on the wall. Turn it on with We got valve, circuit setter, flow switch, gauge, temperature. Uno mas. watching guys appreciate it that's the same goddamn upstairs okay when you're ready he's going down first <laughs> check out a pig <laughs> 
Hey, Peggy. 